Governor Doug Ducey is being uh, petitioned right now by several advocacy groups to veto two bills impacting transgender children. The Arizona legislature passed both bills yesterday. One bans gender reassignment surgery for minors. The other restricts transgender athletes. Fox 10's Brian Webb with the latest tonight. Hey, John, at least 11 Republican-led states have enacted similar laws curbing transgender rights. But as of tonight here in Arizona, there is no indication of what Governor Ducey will do. This bill is creating a pointless and harmful solution to a non-existent issue. That's 13-year-old transgender student Skylar Morrison telling Republican lawmakers they're doing more harm than good. It's obvious this bill is just an excuse to discriminate against transgender girls. Since 2017, some 16 students have received waivers to play on teams based on gender identity. That's out of approximately 170,000 athletes in Arizona schools. And until two years ago, it was a non-issue in any state. The advantage bestowed by biological male puberty are so big that no amount of training or talent can enable biological female athletes to overcome them. I'm so sad to see that that member is voting for this legislation after meeting with that courageous young woman. Lawmakers also passed a bill to restrict irreversible gender-affirming surgeries, scaled back from a bill that would have prevented all care, including hormone therapy and puberty blockers. If this is mutilation of children, it is irreversible, it is horrific, and with that I vote yes. And we have a group of adults who are about to try and say to them, no, you can't even contemplate your own true identity let alone live that identity, because we are going to tell you it's wrong. Your cruel attempt at stripping away trans kids' rights bill by bill is not okay and will never be okay. The governor's office declined to comment at this time. LGBTQ advocates tell me if one or both of these laws pass, they will immediately be challenged in court. Live in Phoenix, I'm Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.